What will inform your choice in the voting booth on December 7th? Well, let's go to the University of Cape Coast for today's Voters' Voices. As the youth, we are considering the economy. So we are going to look at the economy as a whole, especially we students that we are in our final year. We are expecting um, a candidate who will be able to give us the assurance that when we are out of school, we will be able to get something doing. Because we don't want a situation whereby you tell us that when we are, we are out of school, we should go into entrepreneurship. The question is, what money are we going to use for the entrepreneurship? Are they going to offer the money to us that we'll be using for the entrepreneurship or not? Because if that's the case, then I think there's no need coming to school to spend all this year's year. So we are looking at the economy. They should have a system or they should have their plan that will factor with the youth. Because we, the youth, are the nation now. And then every decision that is going to have a direct impact on us. So that's what I can say for now. So we want to see some changes. Like they should prove beyond explanation. They should prove beyond words. That's what you're expecting from them. Actually, so far what I've heard, it's more like they are trying to find a way of maybe throwing the other party out of the way so they can vote for them. What they are bringing out currently, if I'll be frank, they are not emphasizing on the needs of we, the individual. Okay, They are just trying to criticize each other, and I think it's not really that. Um, me, I would say like they should have good and feasible policies. When they come into the system, they shouldn't just bring any policy that it seems fits for them and it's rather bring implications on us. That's one factor. The educational policies with the secondary sector is okay, but if, like, which is the feeding, which they are, they are having a problem with right now, if it's also like they can bring up a solution which will fix it, permanently instead of maybe they'll bring the feeding system is now like one they only bring bag of beans and they'll eat throughout the week they also like the nutrition are not enough for them so the educational policy is like that one i can't say i'm having pressure sure for the this one okay wait this year 2024 uh, um, I expect proven results, yes, results the government has given to this country. That's the only thing that would influence my vote. And looking at how the country is being run right now, certain things have been done which I reserve to mention them. And we are looking out for more. We are looking out for more. Because the ordinary Ghanaian want to have a feel of the government where their issues are addressed and served, but not just sent, but there is no admission to that results.